Hello students, welcome to our class. This is teacher Janessa and today we are going to talk about the respiratory and circulatory system. By the way, this is our first lesson for the first grading period. This is week one and we will be using module one. So I hope that you will enjoy our very interesting topic for today. Lesson 1, Parts of the Human Respiratory System. So what do we need to know in this topic? We have here, name the main parts of the human respiratory system. Before we proceed to our lesson proper today, let us have first a review on the levels of biological organization. So we all know that all living things, and that includes us human beings, we are composed of cell. A cell is a basic unit of life. And if you can still recall in grade 7, we have two types of cells. We have the plant cells, and we also have the animal cells. Okay. Second in line is the tissue. Tissue is made of cells that work together to perform a certain task. Muscle tissue, connective tissue, or neural tissue. Lesson 1, what's new? I have here a question for everyone. Can you live without water for a few days and without food for a few weeks? Hmm, yes, the answer is yes. But how about if you stop breathing? Hmm, I bet that you tried it just now. <laughs> so, it would be impossible, right? Because you will die immediately if you stop breathing for more than a few minutes. Remember, you can survive for several days without water and survive for a few months without food. But you cannot survive for more than 5 minutes without oxygen. Lesson 1. What is it? In this lesson, we have here the following main ideas. Number 1. Our body must continually bring in oxygen into the body cells and get rid of carbon dioxide. Number two, the respiratory system consists of organs and breathing structures that allow gas exchange to occur. We are now here in the parts of the human respiratory system. So class, I want you to look at the illustration on the right side as I go along the different parts of the respiratory system. Let's start first with the upper respiratory system. We have here the nose. And I'll bet you are familiar with that one. Second is the mouth. Or this is also known as our oral cavity. You might be asking, is the mouth part of the human respiratory system? And the answer is yes. It is an external opening for the respiratory tract. Normally, we breathe. Okay, since we are already 
familiar and we already discussed the different parts of the respiratory system, let's have first this activity. This is activity one, name me. So we have here nine items that you will be answering. Okay, so starting off with number one. Okay, so that is also found in your module class. So you can refer also on your module. Okay, so since this is only an activity, I will be providing here our answer. And I know that even if I don't provide the answer, you will already get the answer. As you can see in your module, you'll have their activity too. What a bunch of grapes. So what I want you to do now, class, is to perform the simple procedure in your module and answer the following guide question. Okay? So I'll just leave that activity under your care. So you can do it. Having done already the previous activity, I believe that we will be able or that you will be able to answer this one. What I have learned. We have here matching type, match column A with items on column B. Okay, so you will be able to do that one already. We will not stay long on this page. So since... You've already familiarized and mastered the different parts. Then it's your time to shine. Okay? You answer this activity on your module. What I can do? So here, arrange the correct sequence through which the air passes as it enters the body. Okay? Do it and do your best in answering this activity. We are now in Lesson 2, Function of the Human Respiratory System. So here, you need to know the function of the parts of the respiratory system. So in Lesson 1, we talk about the structure. Here in Lesson 2, we will give more emphasis on the function of the following structure in our respiratory system system. So, let's go! Let's have here what's new, activity 3, complete me. In this activity, you should be able to jot down the functions of the parts of the respiratory system, starting off with the nose, followed by the pharynx, larynx, trachea, bronchi, lungs, bronchioles, alveoli, and the diaphragm. Don't forget to answer the guide question. We have here what will happen if one part of the system fails to carry out its function properly. Okay, so... It's your job now. Answer the activity. In this part, we will discuss the different functions of each organ of the respiratory system.
first, the nose. It is the entrance of air into the body. What do you call that process, by the way? It's inhalation. So when we breathe in air, it enters primarily in our nose. Okay, followed by the nasal cavity. It is where air is filtered, moistened, and warmed. Followed by the pharynx. It controls the passage of air to the lungs and food to the esophagus. What's up, dudes, and what's to up, ladies? More about Brian here again, one, and in this video, we are going to look class, at the respiratory system. Let us watch this We're going to look at the functions of the respiratory system, its components, how the system works, and some things you can do to maintain a healthy respiratory system. So, let's roll. The respiratory system's main functions include transporting air into and out of the lungs, protecting the body against harmful particles that are inhaled, and its most important function, the exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide. So it's basically about breathing. Now let's take a look at a diagram and we'll go through the respiratory system's main components. Starting here with the nose and nasal cavity, the mouth or oral cavity, the pharynx is here, and it is what we consider the throat. The pharynx is considered part of the digestive system as well as the respiratory system, and it connects the respiratory openings to the larynx and esophagus. The esophagus is not part of the respiratory system, and I'll get to why I put it in the diagram in a minute. Next, we have the larynx, which is also called the voice box because the vocal cords are located here. The trachea, also called the windpipe, is here, and it connects to the bronchi which merge into smaller tubes called bronchioles. And the bronchioles connect to tiny air sacs called alveoli. And then down here is the diaphragm. Now let's go through a very basic look at what happens during the breathing process. So air is breathed in through the nose or mouth. When it enters through the nose, it gets spread out by these shelf-like things here called conchi. The conchi help humidify the air and trap some inhaled particles. They also warm the air. The air next passes through the pharynx and enters the trachea. One note here, this little flap-like structure is called the epiglottis, and it has an important function. During breathing, it is pointed upward, allowing airflow into the trachea. However, during swallowing, it folds down to prevent food from going into the trachea, directing the food into the esophagus. If food does enter the trachea, the gag reflex is induced to protect the respiratory system. The epiglottis here, this little thing, shows you how amazing the human body is. Anyways, back to airflow. So air continues down the trachea and enters the bronchi. From there it enters into smaller bronchioles and finally into the alveoli, which are surrounded by a network of capillaries. And this, folks, is where the magic happens. Oxygen enters the alveolar sac and the gas exchange occurs. Capillaries give up their waste carbon dioxide and pick up oxygen. Carbon dioxide is then exhaled through the air passage the oxygen was inhaled through, and the oxygen picked up by the blood returns to the heart. During this breathing process, the diaphragm is busy as well, contracting as we breathe in, which allow the lungs to expand, and relaxing as we exhale. Some minor respiratory disorders include the common cold, influenza, acute bronchitis, which is inflammation of the bronchi, and pneumonia which is inflammation of the bronchioles and alveoli. Some of the more damaging disorders include chronic bronchitis, where the bronchi become inflamed and narrowed, mainly caused by tobacco smoke, emphysema, where the alveoli become overstretched, and lung cancer, which in almost 9 out of 10 cases is caused by tobacco smoke. What can you do to maintain or improve respiratory system health? Maintain a healthy weight. Excess weight compresses respiratory muscles and puts more stress on your lungs. Drink plenty of water. Dehydration can cause the mucus lining your airways to thicken and become sticky, making you more susceptible to illness. Consume foods rich in vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, such as fruits, veggies, and nuts, which can help reduce inflammation and fight oxidative damage. Limit exposure to common allergens, such as dust mites, pollen, and animal dander. Maintain good hygiene, Many respiratory viruses are transmitted because of bad hygiene and poor hand washing. Don't overconsume alcohol. It dehydrates the body and weakens the immune system. 
get more active. Regular aerobic activity can help your respiratory system. Add indoor plants. Plants have been shown to help improve air quality. Bottom line time. As you can see, the respiratory system has a major impact on overall health. As you may already know, breathing is kind of important. So, eat a healthy diet, maintain an active lifestyle, and keep up good hygiene. Remember, folks, be happy and be healthy. All right. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hit the thumbs down. It's all good, man. Till next time. I'm out. See ya. What I have learned. In this activity, we will be answering respiratory system word search puzzle. So find and encircle the vocabulary words in the puzzle below. Look for them in all directions, including backwards and diagonally, and use the encircled words to answer the statements that follow. Okay, so I believe you will be able to do that one on your own already. So, enjoy answering the activity! What I can do. Describe the function of the following parts of the respiratory system. We have here number one, nasal cavity. Number two, pharynx. Number three, larynx. Four, bronchi. And number five, alveoli. For further studies class, you may visit the following link and read more about the respiratory system, its parts, and functions. So we are now done with Lesson 1 and Lesson 2 of Module 1. So by the way, class, if you have books, resources, or even access to the internet at home, please do further readings on our topic. So it has been a wonderful and informative discussion today. And further reminder, if you have the time, please double check your answers for the following activities found in your module. So this has been Teacher Janessa, and I hope to see you soon in our next science class. Bye-bye!